from American rapper The Game, claiming that Kanye simply refuses to be canceled, to Ice Cube demonstrating how he buckled under the same pressure as Ye. Here's what rappers have said about why Kanye appears unfazed by controversy. For one, The Game thinks Kanye just can't be silenced. It's like the guy has absolutely no fear of cancel culture. And in a funny way, that's what's keeping him from facing lasting consequences in the first place. The rapper added that the more you care about cancel culture and what others have to say about you, the more likely you are to be affected by it. But when you're like Kanye and you just keep bouncing back, despite all the criticisms that people throw at you, then well, you kind of become immune to the whole thing interesting, isn't it? The game shared his thoughts in a documentary that TMZ recently did on West, and it included tons of interviews from folks like Bill Maher and Angela Yee, all of whom gave their two cents on why they thought Kanye has such lasting appeal, despite some of his, you know, more controversial opinions on certain topics. And that's not all. The game recently made another statement on why Ye's managing to stay afloat even now. The rapper mentioned that West did more for his career than even his ex-mentor, Dr. Dre, did. There were times when Dre didn't have the game's back. Sure, it might have been for a good reason, but it still goes to show there were limits to that loyalty. This didn't apply to Ye, though. The game mentioned that Kanye stood by his side through everything, even when it came at the cost of Ye's personal interests. West simply didn't care what it cost him. He was there for the game through all of it. So it makes sense why the game and other folks in the industry still have Ye's back, despite him becoming a controversial personality nowadays. Over the years, Ye has cultivated a huge following of fans and peers who respect his work and him as a person. So they understand that despite how some of his more spicy takes might be misconstrued online, he's still a good person deep down. Coupled with the fact that Ye doesn't let the media get to him, it makes sense why Wes seems to be one of the few people in the industry nowadays who's completely immune to cancel culture. Plus, it's not just the game who thinks this, because 50 Cent shares a similar stance when it comes to Kanye. Some of y'all might remember Kanye's anti-Semitic comments back in 2022. It felt like almost every single day he was coming out with a new statement that hurt the sentiments of the Jewish community. You'd think that people would choose to distance themselves from the rapper at the time. But like I said, the guy just can't be canceled. And 50 Cent's statement on the situation pretty much confirms this. 50 Cent said that while Ye is definitely treading on dangerous ground, the rapper has still forgiven Ye for his words. According to 50 Cent, he felt that there was something going on behind the scenes that he didn't fully understand. And so he didn't want to pass judgment on Kanye or make him out to be the bad guy that everyone in the media was portraying him as. 50 Cent even empathized with Kanye, calling him both a brilliant and a complicated person. He mentioned that Ye is under a lot of pressure, being an artist and a black man. Not just that, he has had to go through the painful loss of his mother, which is a feeling that's likely heightened by his bipolar disorder. All of these factors must affect his family and professional life. And the result of that can be seen through his erratic and unpredictable behavior. 50 Cent believes that Kanye comes across as more likable and empathic than the typical rapper because of the things that he has experienced. As such, people aren't as quick to cancel him as they would any other celebrity. I mean, let's face it, folks get canceled every other day for doing things that aren't half as wild as the stuff Kanye has done. To add to all this, 50 Cent mentioned that because of how truly unpredictable Kanye is, people just don't know what to expect from the guy anymore. He's already done things that sound unbelievable to even consider. So at this point, it's like there's nothing he can realistically do that'd surprise folks anymore. I mean, outside of breaking the law or doing something super illegal. Like Ye's support for Trump, to him wearing White Lives Matter shirts or all the anti-Semitic tirades he's gone on. He has proven that you just can't predict his next move. And that's kind of what gives him such strong protection against being canceled. At this point, folks have gotten used to this being the way Kanye acts. That said, some of Ye's actions have definitely made it so that even 50 Cent was having a hard time feeling compassionate for the guy. But still, the fact that even after all this time, 
compassion is still on the table just goes to show that yay's a force that just can't be undone. He has been safe from cancel culture and will likely continue to remain in the clear. If you want to compare Kanye's actions to those of another rapper who was put into a similar situation, look no further than Ice Cube. During West's lengthy anti-Semitic tirade back in 2022, he used Ice Cube's name quite a few times. He even went as far as to say that Ice really influenced him to get on this anti-Semitic vibe. Now, unlike Kanye, who's downright fearless when it comes to things like this, Ice Cube buckled under the pressure almost immediately. The dude ran to Twitter to distance himself from Kanye, saying that he doesn't even know what Ye meant by his statements, and that anyone seeking clarification on them will likely need to ask Kanye themselves. Ice continued that he didn't put any batteries in Kanye's back and has no idea why Ye mentioned Ice as an inspiration for his anti-Semitic beliefs. Ice also talked about how he wanted to be left out of any anti-Semitic talk from that point on. Now, if Ye was randomly taking Ice's name and making him out to look like an anti-Semite, then I can understand Ice's reaction. But here's the thing. Ice Cube has a history of being anti-Semitic himself. Like in 2020, he was called out on Twitter for posting images that fueled anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. He's also been known to share tweets from folks like Louis Farrakhan, who've been known to have a very problematic view on things. So instead of owning up to his own mistakes, Ice Cube tried to change the narrative and buckled. Of course, this led to him getting even more hate, and he sort of got canceled on Twitter. Compare that to how Ye handled the situation. No doubt Kanye said a lot more problematic things at the time, but he faced the criticism head on instead of trying to deflect blame and run away from his actions like Ice did. And that's exactly what he's managed to remain clear about so far. It's possible that Ye might have looked at some of Ice's posts on Twitter, inspired by the seemingly anti-Semitic subtext in them. He then spoke about his beliefs on a wider scale and was pretty clear on where he stood. Despite his attempts to hide from the criticism, ICE was discovered because his Twitter history was easily accessible to all. And in the end, it was this fear of being canceled that ended up getting him a ton of vitriol online, even though it was West who was making the actual problematic statements. This kind of falls in line with what the game said about Ye too. Like, as long as you're not scared of being canceled, cancel culture really can't do anything. In any case, from Ice Cube showing how he buckled when under the same kind of pressure as Ye, to the game saying that Kanye just refuses to be canceled. That was what rappers have said about why Kanye can never be canceled.